What's up guys, Nick here for a, another Cinema 4D tutorial and today what I'm going to be covering is um, <clears throat> kind of creating a low poly smoke animation with inside Cinema 4D. So if you're working on a low poly scene and uh, you're animating it and it's a train or if it's a fireplace or if it's a chimney of a house or a muffler of a car or whatever you're working on um, there's a pretty easy way that you can create this uh, low poly um, smoke animations where um, the smoke comes up and it grows as it gets higher and then it uh, dissipates at the top. Super simple. Uh, I was just going back over some of my other scenes and I found my low poly planet one and um, started messing around with the animation and uh, I came up with a little uh, trick I guess so pretty much it's super easy what the first thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna need an emitter so if we come under simulate and grab an emitter this scenes massive so I don't need uh, emitter that big I'll rotate it um, when you press play you can see which way the particles are going so just make sure that's facing up or facing uh, outwards of whatever you're doing so if it's a muffler of a car or whatever you can point it away from the car and I'm just gonna line this up with the chimney of the house here quickly so that's here like so and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly scale this down under the emitter tab. You can change the size. Uh, I'm going to scale it so it's inside. I'll probably go 4 by 2. Just a rough size. Roughly place it. And then I'll drop it down so it's slightly inside the chimney. Like so. Alright. Now when we go ahead and we press play. Um, you can see the particles are shooting out extremely fast and if we come into the particle uh, tab in the emitter there's this speed we can turn this way down to like five maybe you'll need to mess around to see um, what you want uh, your particles to do but five is good it's a nice uh, slow speed because um, smoke isn't a very fast moving object so I'll leave mine at four or five I'll do five all right now we need to make our um, low poly object that we're going to use as smoke and I really like using a sphere I'll just position this quickly so that we can see it right there I really like using the sphere and particularly particularly the uh, Ico, icosahedron with uh, all made up of these triangles there's no um, poles on the sphere it's just all regular and we'll just drop down the polygons to like 12-ish and then we're gonna delete the fong tag and that's just gonna take out all the smoothing and everything that the scene is going to be trying to do and we're going to get these uh, nice crisp edges when we render and um, we'll have a nice low poly sphere look I just had this uh, white texture inside my scene that I'm going to apply to that all this is is a flat white pure white texture there's no reflectance no anything just white nothing to complex all right now the second thing that we're gonna need to do is we need to size this accordingly and uh, what you have to realize when you're sizing your uh, ob whatever object you chose to be the smoke is you want it to grow at the top and you want it to be small at the bottom because as uh, smoke comes out of a concentrated source it dissipates in the air and it grows in size so I'm going to make this uh, 
maybe 0.75, something pretty small. It doesn't need to be very big. And then I'm just going to drop this as in a child of the emitter. And now when I press play, we can see our particles coming up. All we need to do to be able to see our objects is check show object under the particle tab of our emitter. Now when we click play, we can see our um, sphere is starting to come up. Now they are a little bit wide, so I'm just going to narrow down the x-axis so they're a little bit more concentrated. And now we can go ahead and start um, changing some of our settings. So the one thing that we want to make sure is that the uh, the, sm the quote unquote smoke disappears over time. So that's where our uh, lifetime comes in and it's set to 600 right now. I believe that's the default. I'm just going to set that to 75 and every 30 frames is a second so that's two and a half seconds that they're going to come up and then they're going to disappear. So that is maybe that's good. That's good timeline. 75. Uh, you can adjust the speed. You can adjust the birth rate. So this is how many come out of our emitter. So if we change it to like 15, uh, there's going to be a more concentrated amount of our spheres. You can crank this. You can go wild with it if you want to, but it's all up to what you want. All right, now where the the magic really happens with this is this uh, end scale, and also these variations. So as for uh, lifetime and speed, you can set uh, variations. So 25% will say it can the lifetime can vary up to 25% of this value. So some might go higher, some might uh, disappear earlier, some might be moving faster than the others, some might be moving slower. The rotation in this case, um, I don't really need it, but if you want you can add it and might add some cool effects. But the end scale is the what makes it really nice here. So if we set this to 2, that means when it ends, it'll be twice the size as the original. So as they go up, they grow. So you can see some are moving faster than others. Um, some are disappearing earlier than others, but we got this nice um, this this nice effect coming on here. Uh, you can also change your uh, emitter type if you want. Um, I don't think there is too much of a difference. Let's see here. Pyramid of cone, I think one starts out smaller and then makes it bigger and the other one starts out big and makes it smaller. I don't know really though. I'll just keep it on cone, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, also, you can add a variation to the end size. So if I got 25% as well, then some will be bigger, some will be smaller. Um, I kind of want to make these the end a little bit bigger. So I'm going to try three. That's pretty good. So if I let this play and pause it and do a quick render of our scene here, takes a little bit to render because I got the all the other settings on it's rendering our smoke here we have these nice crisp edges for our, our uh, low poly and the spheres start out small and they grow bigger this is exactly what we are looking for And uh, I believe even there is a visibility, which is 100%, which you can probably even drop if you wanted to have a slightly more lifelike smoke. You can set the visibility a little bit lower so that it is partially see-through. Um, I think that's what this is, at least. I'm not too sure. 
I don't know if I have to. Uh... Okay, we're well. We're getting some that aren't fully visible here. I don't know. So we can leave that at 100. And if you do really want um, it to be slightly transparent, you can either add a transparency texture, or you can just add a um, display tag and check the visibility and then you can lower that down to whatever value you feel fits and um, <clears throat> then it will render slightly transparent as well so you can have uh, two options there fairly easy for both of them um, the texture might just be easier because then you're not adding extra tags if you don't know exactly what it is but as you can see the transparency of our object does make it uh, slightly longer to render but either way this is a cool little trick that you can use to create some uh, low poly smoke with inside Cinema 4D super easy you can mess around with all these settings um, actually there's you can actually add some modifiers to this as well which I believe is also under the yeah so here are all our modifiers that you can add so you can add gravity if um, you want a bit of gravity there's some wind there's some turbulence so I assume turbulence is somewhat like a random effector whereas if we drop this into our modifiers um, change this to include then our turbulence here you should be able to animate this yeah so it's kind of going crazy right now and if we turn the strength down let's try like one that's still pretty crazy 0.5 it's a little bit more tame and you can set the scale of this um, it's kind of like they're blowing in the wind now that's a cool little effect um, never really thought too much of adding modifiers but they do add a nice little uh, random effect to the scene alright guys that's gonna be it for this tutorial hopefully you can uh, find some use for this little uh, low poly smoke trick like I said whether it's a train or a car fireplace chimneys um, yeah I didn't you, the end the possibilities are endless and whatever your minds can come up with is pretty much the limitation to what you can use this trick for hopefully you guys found this useful hopefully you learned something and uh, hopefully you liked this video alright guys I'll see you guys all next time see